You know, you hear a lot of anglers talk about fishing drains. You know, what is a drain? What does it mean? How do bass use it? Well, I like to fish drains. I think it, it you know, came from Texas anglers, but basically all a drain is, is not necessarily a major creek channel, but you know, it, it could be just a ditch or a ravine that was there before the lake was flooded. And even a subtle drain is very important to a bass. They use them just like creek channels as highways to come and go from deeper to shallower areas. So if you can find a, a depression or of a little bit of a ditch that has you know, a foot or two or three foot of, of depth change along a flat, that is a bass highway. If you can add some other cover to it, it makes it even that much better. So before the lake was impounded, what happens is, you know, the trees will grow taller in those drains because that's where there's some moisture at. So you'll get some bushes there. Um, in a lot of lakes that have vegetation, hydrilla will grow along that drain or milfoil will grow right down the center of that thing. And again, it's something that the bass will really use. With today's electronics, with side imaging, it makes it very easy to find even the subtlest drains. You can see that little depression through there. And again, look for that other cover that's there. You can fish them with a lot of different types of lures. Depends on the water clarity for me, what I'm gonna use. But you know, I like to fish and, and cover a lot of those areas with a crankbait. That way I can fish up and down a big expanse of it and find where the most active fish are biting.